Ladies and gentlemen, right about now, I'd like to welcome each and everyone to the living room, Toronto's newest talk show. And I would like to introduce to you our host, Lisa, the diva. And to her left, Toy, the socialite. And to your right, Tash, the back analyst. And I'm your truly the ultimate senior DJ. This is the living room. Hello and good night, and thank you for tuning in with us. We are here at the living room, and with me tonight is Toy and Tash, back <laughs> analyst, and the DJ, Mr. Ultimate Sting. And thank you for joining us once again. We're going to have a beautiful show tonight. Yes. Well, just to give everybody a little background on what the show is about, we are an interactive platform for discussing the real issues of the people of Toronto. And we're going to discuss topics such as entertainment news, uh, relationships, celebrity gossip. Celebrity <laughs> gossip. Gossip, that's always good. Yes. Social issues, educational issues, you name it, we talk about it. Right here in the living room. And remember, you can follow us at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at D Living Room. That's spelled D E E L I V I N G R O O M. And also, you can email us at dlivingroom at gmail.com. And in case you forget, <laughs> today we have a beautiful guest yeah. that will be joining us later on in the segment. His name is Mr. Lyndon King, Mississauga Citizen of the Year 2015. And congratulations to Mr. Lyndon King and his family. Yes. And so. And so, what happened? As usual. Oh, well, first of all, let me backtrack, right? Yes. We want the viewers to know that usually this is a spinoff of our radio talk That's show. That's correct, yes. Which airs online on mylimeradio.com. Mm -hmm. And usually the, we have an icebreaker when we first start our show and we talk about different things that are happening in Toronto. Right. And seeing as we're a multicultural city, we love to highlight all the things that are happening in Toronto and all the wonderful things that people are doing. So, yes. mm -hmm. what are we going to talk about? There's lots to talk about. I yes. have news. I have some news. Okay. You know, a couple weeks ago, we had interviewed Problem Child. Yes. That's correct. And he was here visiting our wonderful city, and we had an interview with Mr. Problem Child, and we, you know, we talk about this and that and all kind of things. Correct. And we asked the question that everybody wants to know. Yeah. And the question was if he's single or not. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here to break the news as the back analyst. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. Let us know. Well, he's in a serious relationship. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He is with me. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> the back analyst crazy, yeah? Listen, I don't want you guys fighting over him, okay? You have to wait till he comes back to Toronto. <laughs> and when will he be coming back? He will be here for Sneaker Fet. That's June 13, 2015. Yes. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. That's correct. Right. So what's going on with the festival? Caravan is coming up. Scotia Bank Carnival is coming up. That's right. That's right. Um, A lot of band launches. I think the last band launch was uh, last, last weekend. Right. Was That's that the Durham? The Durham, Durham Mass. Yes. Yep. And Carnival Revolution. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. They're a West End band. Yep. Yeah. Their costumes are beautiful. They are. And now they're starting off with the uh, Kitties Carnival. That's right. Oh, Salvina nice. Salvina was on Sunday, May 31st. Right. Were yeah. you in the Kitties Carnival? Ha, ha, ha. No? Okay. The diva. <laughs> <laughs> right. From time to time, I always think, you know what, what are they going to do next, you know? And then you just, every week, every three weeks, you see, like, a new costume, a new this, a new that. It's like, how do they get the visions and stuff like that? I know Toronto Revelers, theirs is about Torch. So that makes sense, right? Pan right. Am Games in Toronto. That's right. That's, that'll be here in July and in August. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he got his vision from, you know, Pan Am Games. That's true. It's, it, you know, it draws a question. What inspires all these themes that come through every year? Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Right. Well, you're a queen. What would inspire you? What if I didn't want people to know that I <laughs> leave jail? She just put up all my business. On the street? No, on the living or, room. Yeah. <laughs> well, as a former 
carnival queen. Yes. I don't do it anymore, you know, people. No, she doesn't do it anymore. I give it a rest. I retire. Aww, we're sad. Well, it's, you know, you draw, you draw from the excitement of what's happening. You draw from colors. It okay. could be anything. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's fun. It's very, like, it's just so much that they have to think about, and then they take this little thought, and then they make it into something grand and big, and it's like, I think Seldina has, like, Know, 400 in each section? 300 in each 300 section? 300 yeah. yeah. That's a like lot of people. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Seven, so. Yeah, so he's actually capping it at over 4,000 people. Yeah, right. 4,500. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. One year I was playing, and a friend of mine said, I want to tell my brother how to find me down on the road. And I said, well, he's not going to be able to do that. She goes, yes, just tell me the color that we're wearing. I'm like, we're wearing blue, but there's a many of blues. Yes. There's many sections. There's many leader there's so much blues i'm like he's never gonna find us and so of course not <laughs> when she saw the amount of people she was like oh my god i can't believe it yeah because i mean we have millions here and then we draw in other millions from around the world right yeah. Yeah. people from germany australia and the whole of the caribbean that comes here so right. yeah toronto's doing it big as usual <laughs> we love it yes. so we'll be back and we'll come back and we're going to go pay some bills Thank you once again for coming back. I am feeling quite comfortable today, and I think it's because I'm in the hands of Mr. Lyndon King. Yes, you're looking quite comfortable. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yes, welcome. Good Thanks for being here on the living room. Good evening, and thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here around three beautiful divas. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> so we want to introduce to the world Mr. Lyndon King. He is the 2015 recipient of the Gordon Ship Memorial Award. And once again, that's a huge accomplishment. So we just want to say kudos to you, and thank yes. you for being with us here today. Thank you, thank you. And uh, like I said before, it's a pleasure that you actually having me on this show. Uh, I do listen to your radio talk show. I think you guys are doing a fabulous job. Uh, and I got to give you guys compliment with regards to what it is you guys are out there doing in the community. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Yeah. I'm just going to clap for us. <laughs> clap it. <laughs> so, um, first of all, we know that you do a lot of work in the community. Mm -hmm. Can you share with everybody some of the uh, things that you do? Okay, well, uh, I do actually do quite a bit in the community. I'll probably start with the fact that I'm on the Ontario Trillium Foundation grant review team. And for those of you who are not familiar with the Ontario Trillium Foundation, they are an actual agency of the Ontario government. So what they do is each year the province gives them funds. So what we would do with the funds is they would grant up to about 1,300 not-for-profit organizations. So what I would do is I'd actually sit on that grant review team look at the different grants and then we would award them. Uh, the grants range anywhere from sports, environment, um, again there's different types that we, we offer. Uh, another big one that I'm part of is the actual Mississauga Arts Council. Mm -hmm. So the Arts Council that's probably a very good grant, uh, actually a uh, board to be sitting on because what we do is we do a lot of things in the community for a lot of local talent. So there's a lot of talent out there we have uh, spoken word, we have right. just try to find local artists and make sure we support them in what it is they're doing. So again, that's a very good organization to be with. Another one is Safe City Mississauga. So we basically work with the police. We have a lot of different programs out there as well with regards to the kids. Uh, we go into different areas basically and what we do is we help a lot of youths that are at risk. Mm -hmm. So they got a lot of programs in place, helping them with regards to uh, their homework and actually help them with their schooling and actually improve their grades so uh, that's another and also to keeping the city safe so that's amazing it's wow. it's, it's a very good organization to, to be part of um, another one is the Congress of Black Women I know you guys everyone's looking like what's a CBW actually CBW <laughs> is the Congress of Black Women okay. and what that is it's a region appeal so these women actually went out and they got their own building. Uh, it's called Camille's Place, and Camille's Place was for a young lady who died, and they wanted to make the, name the building after her. So 
That's how they got Camille Place, and what they've done is they put an actual board in place to manage that building. So I'm part of that organization. We manage the building, and they also have a lot of um, um, homes that are geared to income. So again, people who can't afford to be actually paying market rent, uh, these uh, they could be single mothers that are actually in these buildings, and they're helping them. So that's another organization that I'm part of. Another one is the uh, Multicultural Committee, which is the Peel Multicultural one. Yeah. Um, so again, I, I'm an advisor to them. So they're doing a lot of stuff that's uh, helping the community as well. So there's a number of boards that I'm involved with. I, I, I mean, I, I, I don't want to sound like I'm tooting my own horn, but again, there's, there's quite a bit of them. And, uh, no, I, I wish I had a horn here to give you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can remember when I was actually uh, getting the award, um, the mayor, Bonnie Crombie of Mississauga, she got up there and she says there was actually 10 or more uh, committees that I sit on. She couldn't even count them on her hands. Oh, so wow. again, I, there, there's quite a number of them. And now that I've actually got the award, there's a number of people. Everybody wants you to join the organization now. Oh, so, for sure. Yeah, yeah. so uh, they're, they're all knocking on the door now. And, and again, it's one of those bragging rights things that uh, I'm really proud to be saying that, yet yeah, I'm Citizen of the Year. So I just yeah. want to touch on what you said about the Camille What's it Camille called? Place. Camille Camille's Place. Place. Okay, I'm thinking because it's a woman's organization, correct? Mm -hmm. um, why did you think that it was important for you to be on the board? Again, the reason I wanted to be on the board is the fact that what it is is the Congress of Black Women. They're out there with regards to helping women in the community. Uh, there is actually Congress members that sit on the board, but they also find someone that's from the community as well to sit on their board. Given the fact that I'm involved and connected with a lot of organizations, I felt that sitting on this board is another way of giving back to the black community. Okay. So by me being there, I'm connected, I'm engaged, I could connect them with the right people right. in order to help them in that aspect. Okay. Where do you find all this time for all this? <laughs> That's a very good question. <laughs> and, yeah, and, it, and a lot of that is work-life balance. And um, you know what, I, I, I gotta say that a lot of that is you got to go back to just basically time management. You can't be everywhere at once, so you got to more or less pick and choose. Sometimes, you, and, and again, when I'm looking at the boards, I look at the dates when a lot of the board meetings are held so that there's no conflict with that. Right. Um, and also, to the grace of God, God will sustain me, right? And it's Absolutely. almost like when I, I'm out there, I get that energy. Uh, to, to do things, so uh, that's one of the reasons I keep going. And of course, the wife, who's a Leo, uh, she's there with me 100 like steps right. away. I yeah. a sparkle in her eye. <laughs> I knew yeah. she was a good woman. Yes, very good woman. Every, beside every good man, there is a good woman. Good for you. Yes. So just good. to dig in a little bit of your past, um, growing up, in uh, Mississauga, did you see this vision for yourself? Or are you just like a natural person who just loves people? Because you have to be a people person to be nominated and then even awarded for this award. You know what I say, the people person is Queen of Bacchanalis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know what, my, my personality, I would say, does help because again, you do have to be able to go out in different audiences and speak right. well to the people as well. I think a lot of that growing up, um, again, I was a Boy Scout. I went through the Cubs, the Scouts, right. and, and so again, that, that helps you to be prepared with regards to doing certain things yes. in your community as That's well. True. And, and of course, my parents, the, the values that they instill in me. So again, uh, those are some of the qualities that I was bringing to the table. So again, personality, that all helps. And the fact that you're, you're giving back, so those, those are what uh, help contribute to it. Excellent. I love it. This is excellent. We'll come back and we'll be right back with Mr. Lyndon King, Mississauga's Citizen of the Year 2015. Boy. Welcome back and thanks for joining us. In D living room, I'm Lisa Lisa, Toy, and Tash, and we're here with Mr. Lyndon King, citizen of Mississauga's 2015. Congratulations once again. Thank you. How many times are you gonna? Are you getting tired of hearing that? Congratulations. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna get a big T-shirt. Congratulations. Yeah. 
<laughs> I got one year for bragging rights. Oh, you know what? That's right. And even after that, you're still going to have many more. People are going to remember you for oh, what you've done. Yes. Yeah. And that's a good way to be remembered. It is a great way it's to be remembered. Thank when you. When you walk down the street, do people know who you are? Actually, I was out yesterday at the SOS, and I had a lot of people recognize me from actually the share. So I was on the front cover of Share, so uh, a number of people did recognize me, and Excellent. they said congratulations. So that's so yeah. nice. Yes. That's it was a good so feeling. nice. Good feeling. Yeah. There's a lot of young kids that's looking at you, and they're looking up to you. Mm -hmm. um, what could you say to them who want to follow in your footsteps, or want to know how you even got that? You know what? I I would say the young kids today, and I, and I'm glad that they're looking at me as a role model because I I would say the young kids right now. Set, once you set your mind to something, you can achieve those goals. And you also want to surround yourself with positive people. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would say find a cause and, or a good charity. Volunteer. You need to be out there in your community and volunteer. Give back to the community. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy, right. but I'm saying it's going to be worth it. Yeah. There's a lot of benefits to that. Yes. So I would definitely encourage young kids to get involved and to stay involved. I'm glad you mentioned the volunteer part because they've implemented that I think probably about three or four years ago that it's mandatory now that when you get your credits you Correct. have to have time of voluntary work. Mm -hmm. Yes and that is part of uh, your curriculum. I've actually ran for school board trustee twice. You so have another one. Check. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah those, those are some of the, your curriculums that you have to follow as a volunteer. Right. Yes. Yeah. And also volunteering um, gives you job experience also. Yes. And you never know, um, you may get a job after. Mm -hmm. so, that is that is true. Yeah. That is true. Um, so so volunteering is very important. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So what is the actual process to becoming Mississauga Citizen of the Year? Well, you got to get a lot of money to pay off those people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke right now, uh, taking out a loan for the house. My wife doesn't know, but uh, yeah. So there's, there's quite a, a lengthy process. So the process is obviously someone's got to nominate you uh, with regards to uh, your community involvement. So I was yes. nominated. Uh, there was a number of counselors. Uh, there was a number of, uh, actually, the president of the Mississauga Arts Council wrote an overwhelming letter for me with regards nice. to my involvement with the Arts Council. Uh, just the, wor the work I was doing, so uh, that that letter played a very important role as well. So, how many people are going are being nominated for this award? To be honest with you, I don't know how many are being nominated, but there's probably a, a big list. So, um, so what happens is the Mississauga Real Estate Board. What they do is they put a committee together in conjunction with the Mississauga News. They're the ones who actually put uh, host the Gordon Ship Award. So, what they'll do is they have the the uh, the committee. They'll look at your community involvement, and again, it goes back to some of the involvement that I've done with Caravana, which is 30 years or more. That plays an important role, but what they do is they look at your community involvement to Mississauga, per se, yeah. uh, given the fact that I've uh, been in Mississauga for over 43 years. Mm -hmm. I've lived up, I lived and grown there, so that played a very important role as well with regards to being nominated, and again, my involvement with the different communities. Uh, I go out to council meetings. So the community does know me. Uh, a lot of the councillors do know me. So again, the name going forward is, is, a, is a name that's recognized. Right. Yes. That's excellent. Yeah. So now that you've touched on that, you used to dabble a little bit in the Caravana, mm -hmm. the Scotiabank Carnival. Yeah. Okay. So again, I've known it from Carabana, right. uh, when it was going up university. Yes. Um, so those You're were aging the, yourself. Oh, uh. sorry. <laughs> Lakeshore. <no. laughs> so yeah, we've, we've had quite an involvement and uh, I could say my kids grew up in that environment as well. So it was one of those things that we became a family. Um, this goes way back uh, to Arnold Hughes and Associates I, right. and, and my wife introduced me to that. And the reason being is that Kathleen Hughes is Arnold Hughes's daughter, which is my oldest daughter's godmother. Right. So that's how we got into the um, to the Caravana scene. Um, again, once that bite, you get that bite, you yes. can't leave it. No, uh, right. there's, there's many times in the mass camp, 
you'd be there arguing and say, boy, you ain't going to see me next year doing this, you know. <laughs> next year come, boom, you're right, you're right there doing there. the same yes. thing. So, you know what, I, I'm really grateful that we did get involved in the Caravana. Um, again, I watched my kids grow up in it. Again, kids were babies in strollers. We used to decorate the strollers, take them down uh, to the kiddies parade and that. So it was things that you were doing as a family, although you're volunteering, you're still giving back to your community right. as well. But again, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for the world. Like right now, my kids, they, <laughs> Kamisha, she's a fed. I think she goes to every fed across the world, right? <laughs> she's, she's at all of those. So, um, and again, the kids, they can make their own costumes and that. And it's, it's a self, self of belonging as well. They've made a lot of friends and they're connected to the FET world. So okay. again, the volunteering, you, you get, out, get out these different networks uh, and, you get, and you build a lot of friendship through it. So um, again, like I, I was saying, with, I just want to touch on the Caravana stuff. I, I go, I, I've met DJ Sting through that as well. Um, and just so I will, want to kind of go back to my uh, involvement in getting the, the recognition award because what happened was my wife and I, we used to have, we, our anniversary falls in, in August, end of August. So we started throwing these barbecues, the annual barbecues, and of course, DJ Sting's our DJ. Right. And, um, and as we started throwing the barbecues, you said, you know what, let's have a food drive. Right. And then we started collecting food and donating it to the food bank. Wow. So these are another one of the accolades that was part of me getting nominated because of all the pounds of food that we donated to the food bank. And again, that's my community. You guys are all part of that. That helped me get that award. So again, I, should, I could share that with you, but it's going to cost you some money. Yeah. But I just can't. Right. But yeah. That we don't have. Yeah. <laughs> right along. We're not going to break right now. Are we? No, we gotta... right along. <laughs> when you had these um, food drive, mm -hmm. I mean, people were coming with non-perishable cans and that's correct so what we would do is it was an annual barbecue um so we'd uh, either people would bring a dish but most of the food we'd give and also the rum and uh so right. so uh we asked everyone to bring a non-perishable food items and uh each year what i'd have is a goal so last year we raised x amount of pounds right this year we're, we're gonna try and get so you still do it I'm gonna try and do it again this year. Wow, yeah, good for you. Try and do it again. Last year we didn't do it was because uh, my daughter. No, actually I did do one last year. That was for my uh, when I was running for school board trustee. That's so right. we had the barbecue as well. Uh, it was a year before that that we didn't have it because okay. that's when we had our grandchild. Right. So this yeah. is something that you do every year. Every year, correct. Right. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And in the caravana, you were hands on. You did things. Caravana was hands on. I was Mr. Le Logistics. That's right. That was your title. <laughs> Mr. That's Logistics, you yes. Okay, and what, because, what was that for? What did the that reason mean? I did that was uh, there was a new band that came out, and that was called Renaissance. Okay. So what happened was um, Arnold, he handed down the torch to uh, his daughter, mm -hmm. and uh, she started up a band with uh, Nataki Christmas, mm -hmm. and we had Queen of Bacchanal play <laughs> Queen. <laughs> and uh, we had actually Cerise, the, the eldest daughter, uh, doing the costume design, so um, again, the, we're helping to bring the band. Right. They approached me and said, Mr. King, we'd like you to be Mr. Logistics because uh, there's a lot of things involved with Mr. Logistics. You gotta okay. get the trucks ready, you gotta understand how to run the, the band as well. So there's a quite of, uh, a lot of hats to wear involved in that role. So people know to come to you when they need the stuff done. Correct, like set up tables as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I can't believe you said that. Yes, he did set up our table. Sorry. Oh my gosh. That was that was good. That yeah. was good. <laughs> I forgot. I think I, I owe you a check, yeah. right? No. <laughs> okay. That's so good. So yeah. this is what happens to you. Everywhere yeah. you go, yeah. you're just that person, right? You're it's just that, that personality. Guy. That yes. personality. I, I wish I had where's the award? We had an award to give him. Oh, you? we're gonna get one for you. <laughs> Seriously, or just no? Suck? I'm no? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll make yeah. We're going <laughs> to give you the living room award. Okay, that's good. You're going to just continue to get awards and awards. Yeah. It, you, it must get sickening. <laughs> no. <right? laughs> and what does your wife think? You know what? My wife is very happy for me. Um, like I said, she's always encouraged me. She's always helped me to work towards my goals, just like I, I do the same for her as well. So. 
my wife and I have been together for 30 years, um, but we've been married for 25. So oh, wow. we've we've been together I've, probably more than half my life. So um, she is my true friend. She is my best friend. So, Excellent. Yeah. That's really, 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 yeah. really good. Yeah. And that shows, you know, people that there are marriages that do last mm -hmm. because I mean, there's some marriages that don't last 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> And you have for 30 years, right? That's a whole other yeah, show. Yeah. show. You know, the back of the house was going to say that, but I took it. Yes, I took okay. It, and I, I took it and I made it mine. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and okay. so, you know what? I think it's time for Sting to give us a little musical vibe mm -hmm. as we go to commercial break. Maybe Lindy will show us how to wine. Yo, we. Yo, we. Yo, we. This is the biggest collab. Song for us. Friends yes. in the yes, living room. And, and I'm going to show you how to whine. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're itching, eh? What? <laughs> I'm going to put one of those costumes on your head. It, my, my daughter said, Why do guys wear that? Yeah. Yeah, but that's okay. We'll put it on your head. We'll find something for you. Okay. <laughs> well, we're back with Mr. Lyndon King, Mississauga's Citizen of the Year 2015. Yes. And one of the things we didn't touch on is one of the best things that could have happened to him this year as well in addition to being as many um mm -hmm. <laughs> yes one of as the many, many one yeah. of the many yeah. mr Lyndon king is one of the torchbearers for the pan am games which will be here july well i'm gonna be running with the torch so right now the torch really has started yesterday the opening ceremonies was in toronto right. uh today the torch is in um thunder bay um you're more than welcome to come out and see me run with the torch. That will be on June the 14th. I'll be running down here, Ontario, which is now otherwise known as Highway 10. Mm -hmm. So there's, that's in Mississauga. That's in Mississauga. <laughs> For all you East Enders, you gotta come out that side. So yeah, in Mississauga, and my segment is gonna be just by the Go Train. And so what's gonna happen is it's gonna end in a park. So I'm torchbearer number 33, and that's gonna end in the park. I'm so. coming. Excellent. Just to see Linda. Just, Just to, to see, see me. <laughs> Just to see me. Set up the living room right there. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Couch. Yes. Yeah. We've got to the couch on our back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be amazing. Thank wow. You. So yeah. how do you feel? Like are you shy? Are you timid? Are you nervous? No, as a torchbearer, because you're the heart and soul of the actual games. You get to ignite the community. So I'm really looking forward to these games. I think this is going to be one of the best games ever. Uh, not the fact that we are in Toronto, but there's a lot of work and, um, I guess, facilities that are actually helping the city that's gone into this. So the city of Toronto is going to benefit quite a bit and a lot of the other cities around, like Mississauga right. and all of, uh, I guess, I guess uh, Markham is also part of Toronto, right? So, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, there's a, there's a lot of facilities have been built. Um, again, that's going to go back into the community as well. So, yeah. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. So did you get this honor of becoming the torchbearer as a result of being the uh, citizen of the year of Mississauga or no before? actually I I think that being the torchbearer helped me I think that probably put me over the edge in regards to getting this award um, what happened is I was selected uh, as part well at the beginning of the year, actually, I was selected to be a torchbearer mm -hmm. um, because, again, working with the Ontario Trillium Foundation and my community involvement, I was selected to be one of them. So I think that helped as well in regards to getting this award. Do you know how award. heavy the torch is? Do you know what you're working with? Yeah, you know what? I, I had, it's a very good question. They did send me the package and the weight was there. So just picture a little uh, baseball bat. It's it's the weight of that. So it's oh, about, yeah. yeah, about maybe two pounds for that. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping I, I'm hoping I could run with it. So. Well, you're working out already. I'm about to say right? you have so, to start working out. Working out, man. Well, feel not. No. <laughs> I'm not talking about whining. I'm talking about actually pumping some weights. 
This is excellent. So do you have an outfit that you're going to wear? There's an outfit. Uh, they're going to give you, you have an actual torchbearer's outfit that yeah. they're going to be providing everyone with. Amazing. My wife was kind enough. She went out and bought me some matching runners. So that you, you know how we like to be coordinated. Eh? I so. do know that, yes. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, so. And how long is your run? Actually, it's only going to be 200 meters. Only? Oh, that's, that's a good yeah, yeah, that's 200 meters. Yeah. So everyone's going to run to 200 meters. So it's a torch relay. And that's how we, we're going to finish off. So yeah. someone gives it to you and you pass mm -hmm. it on to the next guy. Don't Correct. trip, you know. Nope. <laughs> You're the second person that said that. No, I would be so proud. <laughs> you. Yeah, don't trip. <laughs> uh, now I'm... Now I'm <laughs> Now I'm scared. <laughs> Me and your wife are going to bring some tomatoes. I know. Anyhow you trip. We're not going to be like, oh, are you OK? We're going to throw them at you. You're, you're yeah. going to do wonderful. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Thank yes. you. Yeah, Everyone but you're the second sure. person that said that. Yeah. Don't go <laughs> there and embarrass me in no way. <laughs> you know what? I don't think you can embarrass anybody if you try. Yeah. You're just, you're just a, a big bunch of humbleness, you know, like Thank a big you. piece of humble pie. Just want to bite you. <laughs> Thank you. And I think you've just motivated people in general to just go out and do better. I hope I did. I hope I really did. I think you have. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And again, that's probably why my purpose is on this earth is, is to do that. Excellent. Yes. Well, thank so thank you, you for mm -hmm. coming on Delivery to our first show, hey. televised, televised show. Yes. yes. Yeah. We're really happy. Yeah. And we're thank very you. happy. Excellent. And thank you for having me. And we're hoping that Delivery Room shares some of the spotlight because you've been taking over all the newspaper. <laughs> I pick up a newspaper, you're in one of them. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. that's good. Thank you. I did get some very good coverage, I did, because they're the ones who actually gave me that you're coverage. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining into the living room, and Sting will be sounding us out with some nice soca tunes. Don't forget to tune in next week. Party done. Party done. Party done. Good one. <laughs> you want some, 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 you want some